giving you the quickest, quick run to Petco, PetSmart. Go on Amazon, get it, check out, boom, there you go. Wait, because I'm about time for all the extra stuff y'all be doing. into another episode of Quandra's TV. On today's episode, we are going to be going over Yorkie Puppy Essentials. These are the items that you must have before you consider getting a puppy. Not just a Yorkie puppy, you know, any puppy. If that will interest you, keep on watching. Like these new generation dogs aren't like the ones that, they're, they're not like the ancestors. But now, in today's time, I'm telling you, you're going to need a cage. You cannot trust your puppy, um, your new puppy to be at the house all day, especially Yorkies. Yorkies are very mischievous. They're very stubborn. They're gonna do what they wanna do. You cannot trust them at home all day. The cage is gonna make sure that they're safe when you need to run errands or when you need to do something, okay? Start crate training early. The next non-negotiable you are going to need are your puppy pads. And I picked these up from Petco. These are the Super Absor Absorbent Puppy Training Pads by Absorb It Up. These are very, very expensive. You get 10 for $10, like a dollar a pad. I only use these and pull these out on special occasions. <laughs> if he's not using those, which he very seldomly uses, he's using these from Walmart. And this is from Vibrant Life. This is the 50 count. And this is what we've been using with him. Potty training is a lot. We are two months in. He's getting better. I think I told you in the first video he was at like a 60%. He's played at like a 65% now. And I'm gonna tell you what made the difference. But another non-negotiable, like I said, are going to be your training pads. You cannot <laughs> get around these training pads. However, the training pads, they're not gonna work. The training pads are not gonna work on their own to me. At least that's my experience with those puppy pads. Um, so I had to go and buy this out. Go here, attracting spray. You can get this from Walmart, you can get it from Amazon. Everything will be linked down below and everything you can find on Amazon. So go on and click those links and get these for your puppy. But this is the out, go here, attracting spray. You spray this on the puppy pad and it's supposed to attract the animal or your um, your puppy to the pad. There is something in here I can say that attracts the puppy to the pad. That's very, very true. But in Russ's case, he's obsessed with scents. So anything that I spray, he's literally gonna try to sniff the air to see if those are the notes that he likes. He's just funny like this. So anything with a scent, I think he was gonna just, just eat it up. This was a necessity because the puppy pads, they're not gonna work by themselves at all. I don't care what the box say. Um, well, it's, it's, it's something in the pad that is gonna automatically attract them to the pad. That's a lie. That's a big lie. Something else that you're going to need with your new puppy is your harness and leash combo. I picked this up from Amazon. This is the best harness and leash. I got him the size extra small. Let me see if it's still on here. I think it's a, yeah, extra small. He hasn't outgrown it yet and when we got him, he was two months. So he's still fitting this pretty, pretty well and he's four months now so he still fits this, and the reason that I like this is, like I said, it's not too hard on their neck. I love the cushion that you know you hold it with, and it also has a lock on here. So once you lock this, it's not going to like open because dogs hate harnesses. They just hate them. I don't know a dog yet that just comes up to you and love putting on a harness. Something else that you are going to need, and anybody can tell you that with a puppy, their breath is horrible. Horrible, y'all. That stuff stinks. So you are going to need the Tropic Clean Fresh Breath No Brushing Drops for Dogs. 
I'm a teacher, so I don't have time to be just doing all the issues stuff that y'all be doing in y'all videos. I'm giving you the quickest, quick run to Petco, PetSmart, go on Amazon, get it, check out, boom, there you go. Wait, because I'm back out time for all the issues that y'all be doing. These are the no brushing drops for dogs. You put two, two drops in the bowl. I think I demonstrated it on his um, morning routine. Again, please go check that video out, how I use these. And you just put it in their water. Um, I do it probably about twice a week. That's, you know, that's it. Go over in his play area right now because he's playing with it. But you're going to need puppy toys. And I hope I can pop it up on the screen. Um, you're going to need some kind of chewy puppy toys. Dogs have this innate natural listen natural need to just bite things and so they're gonna need something to bite on when I got him and like I said I'm gonna pop it up right here is a puppy rope and it has like this little um kind of like see the ring for dogs in the middle and then on the end is rope and the rope is supposed to be peppermint flavored he loves that even though it's like on his last leg petco has not had them in stock since i got that one you don't have to overdo it with the toys me personally a yorkie um the only thing they are interested in especially in their first year is chewing chewing going outside things of that nature you don't need to go and break the bank you've already broken the bank if you purchase a yorkie you've broken the bank okay <laughs> i cannot get over puppy trees nowadays you remember how you know back in the day when your mom told you to do things and you just did it just because you can't do that now i can't even do that with my own six-year-old they are looking for incentives nowadays. It's not like it was when we were little. The same with dogs. They want an incentive. Like they want an incentive for doing well. And these are what I use. When he was younger, um, I used the wellness, like the soft lamb and salmon puppy treats. They were soft. But the older he started to get, I started to get him the crunchy puppy bites. And he loves these, and I love these too for him. You're like always sold out here in Memphis, so I have to go to like, sometimes I have to search like two or three. I don't think we have like, maybe three Petco's that's kind of in the prox in my proximity, y'all. <laughs> yeah, I gotta mention the length of these locks in every video. All right, so let's talk about grooming a little bit. We've already talked about the um, deodorizing spray that I use for him. Let's talk about the deodorizing, the, um, the deodorizing breath drops that I use for him. Now, now let's talk about the deodorizing spray. And this is the Chi. Yes, she makes products for dogs. So she, if you are watching this, thank you. You have saved my life. She is not cheap, but she for dogs is awesome. She, everything is good. Like their flat irons, their thermal products, all of that is good. But this is the She for Dogs, the odorizing spray. And I use this after he's been outside. I cannot stand. It's like the older you get, the more you understand what outdoors smell like. Like when your mama used to say, you smell like outdoors? Like, no, I'm giving the Mississippi. You smell like outdoors. You, you stink, you smell like outdoors. I know what that smell like now because I have a six year old <laughs> and I have a puppy. So yeah, you spray this on him and he's pretty much fine. You know, it kind of masks that outdoors, he said that nature scent and then there you go. So this is the She For Dogs deodorizing spray. Another She product is the She For Dogs detangling finishing spray. And this is what I use on him after he gets out of the um, after he gets out of his bath, I will spray him with this just so I can detangle, just so I can detangle um, his mess. When he was a puppy, he did not have a lot of mess, but the older he gets, the longer his, that, that pretty Yorkie hair gets, the more it's going to detangle and mess, and it is very uncomfortable for dogs. And I keep looking over there because he's over there, and he's, is is his, <laughs> it's his feeding time. Another product that you are going to need is the She For Dogs Gentle Formula 2-in-1 Shampoo and Conditioner. I think this is a 
non-negotiable. You're going to need something to shampoo and condition your puppy with because they will smell. And like I said, you don't want your house stinking. Like you don't want your house stinking. Like who does that? So you're going to need She For Dog shampoo. If not this shampoo, you're going to need some kind of puppy shampoo. <sighs> <laughs> not dog related, but house related. Once you get a new puppy, you're gonna have all kind of scents running through your home, especially if you are getting a house dog. You're going to need some kind of cleaning product. This is the Lysol All Purpose Cleaner Lemon Breeze scent. You can pretty much find Lysol anywhere now um, since the, vac the vaccine is out. Please go get vaccinated. But you can kind of find it anywhere now. I use this to clean out his cage. I use this to sanitize his area. It's very quick, very efficient, smells great. I don't like anything but lemon scents when I'm cleaning, okay? Just lemon. The thing that I use when I mop his area is the Lysol um, Clean and Fresh Multi-Surface Cleaner. This is like the equivalent of a pine saw, but it's actually Lysol, of course. Again, it is lemon, and that just keeps the scents down. Um, once you get a new puppy, you are going to learn that you are going to be cleaning up more often especially when you're trying to house break you're going to be cleaning up more often because you have to be patient with yourself you have to be patient with your puppy because he's not going to get it he or she is not going to get it right then and there he's not going to get it for a long time and it's in yorkie's case it's up here a year or two so you're going to have to be very very patient um just do your part continue continue continuously reinforce positive behavior and things of that nature because it's going to be a journey so make sure you have your cleaning supplies with your new puppy another thing you're going to need is a tote i love this color because it's kind of like the color of his leash uh, leash and harness you're going to need a tote once you once you get a new puppy you're going to realize that they tend to accumulate more stuff than you would have you can imagine they tend to accumulate a lot of stuff and they accumulate it very very quickly because it's just like a newborn you're trying to figure out what works and what doesn't work so you're going to be doing a lot of trial and error with um with your new puppy so make sure you have something to keep all of their materials and all of their toys and things in it just makes it quick when you can just go and go to their little stash their little tote get what you need and then go into the bathroom and put it back up um, another thing that I've noticed that Russ likes is something so simple. Um, he loves water bottles. Dogs love water bottles. Um, I was researching it in some video on YouTube. The guy was saying that it, the sound, it's something about the sound. It gives them this like hunting instinct. And so they just love just pouncing on it and try to get in and bite it. They love it. So if you want to, if you don't want to go out and spend a lot of money on puppy toys, which I don't advise you spending a lot of money on puppy toys, you can just get him a water bottle, especially when you first get him. The first couple of weeks when he's getting acclimated to you and your family, you don't need a whole lot. That water bottle probably would do just fine. Just make sure you monitor the him with it. Make sure the water bottle is free of any labeling because they will tear off the plastic. That's the first thing they go for. <laughs> they would tear off that plastic um, very easily. I can't even tell you what Russ is use, what he uses to eat. This is his double-sided food tray. On one side he has his food and as you can see it is a slow feeder bowl because Yorkies do eat very, very quickly. And I don't like it at all. But he eats very quickly so i made sure he had a bowl with a slow feeder and then on this side is for his water um he's very ticky about he's bougie so he's very tick about what he eats out of <laughs> he's very very ticky about what he eats out of so yeah All right, boys, I'll be going to do your thing. You're going to need some kind of puppy collar bell because this bell will help you keep track of where your dog exactly is exactly um, located in the house because without that bell, you won't be able to hear them. They move quickly, quietly, and swiftly, okay? All right, this is his little play area, and as you can see, he is over this video. He is just over mama talking, so let me go on and wrap this up, okay? I got his um, play pen slash sleeping area from amazon his puppy pillow which he chewed through the first night i do not recommend that that came from petco but i will find something similar and link it down below all right guys thanks for watching and i will see you guys on my next video smooches